recently I did a grocery haul actually on our vlog channel and I asked you guys if you preferred to see grocery hauls kind of integrated into our regular vlogs or if you preferred them on this channel. And the overwhelming response was to do them specifically dedicated videos on this channel for grocery hauls. So that is exactly what I am going to do today. Today I have for you guys a grocery haul. I just got back from Costco and also Smith's. For those of you who don't know, Costco is basically a wholesale grocery store where you can buy bulk groceries. And if you don't know what Smith's is, it's actually a Kroger grocery store. So if you have a grocery store near you that sells Kroger products, it's probably very similar to Smith's. In this grocery haul, I actually got a lot of things dedicated to meals that I'm gonna be making in the coming week, week and a half, two weeks or so. I have a couple meals planned, including General Tso's chicken, chicken tikka masala, and also some zucchini pasta. So I'm gonna be making a lot of these meals primarily for meal prep. And if you actually wanna see those recipes, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so I know that that's what you wanna see. But for now, let's just jump into the grocery haul. I'm actually gonna start with the frozen stuff because I need to put it away very quickly because obviously it's frozen stuff. The first thing from Costco I got are the frozen vegetable stir fry blend. A couple of you guys have also asked actually how I keep vegetables because vegetables and fruits, I think for a lot of people are very difficult to just keep good for a long period of time because you have to eat them before they go bad, obviously. My way around that is actually I buy a lot of frozen fruits and vegetables. I really, really like the bulk vegetables that you can get at Costco. Obviously it's really, really good for stir fries, but we pretty much make it with any food that I am making for the day. My main goal is to have one serving of vegetables with pretty much every meal I have. And um, especially at dinner time, this is a really great way to do that. The second frozen thing I got from Costco is the wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. Me and my husband actually really, really like fish. We're big seafood eaters and we absolutely adore salmon. It's a great way to get omega-3 fatty acids into your diet. It has a ton of protein, a ton of really healthy fats, and it's just one of those really great cuts of meat that is um, just really good for you. Okay, so the next group of foods I'm going to jump into are fruits and vegetables. I didn't actually need to get a ton of fruits and vegetables because we still have a few that we're trying to eat through at the moment. And there's a good amount in the freezer, so I'm basically just topping off the ones that we eat the most and or the things that I know that I'm going to be using in the next couple of weeks. The first thing we got are mushrooms. These are baby portobello mushrooms. I absolutely adore mushrooms, Blake does not so much. He pretty much despises mushrooms with every fiber of his being, but I absolutely adore them. <laughs> we also got some organic Fuji apples from Washington. I absolutely love apples. These ones are just so beautiful. Like the color in them is, it, they just looked so, so, so good. And we actually ate an entire package of these within I think like a week. We, we've been definitely on an apple kick lately, so we needed to get some more apples. We got some hearts of romaine, romaine hearts. I love to eat salad. I love to eat especially lettuce in pretty much everything. I, I love the crunch that lettuce gives in so many different food groups. And so yeah, th that's why we just needed to pick up some romaine. I got a mix of some squash and some zucchini. I absolutely adore squash and zucchini. Um, Blake isn't like the biggest fan, but he'll eat it if he if it's around. <laughs> the plan tonight for dinner is actually to have some like spaghetti. Instead of having actual pasta for my spaghetti, I sometimes like to just mince up a ton of different zucchini and squash and throw it together and use that instead of noodles, if that makes sense. It's a great way to sneak some more fiber into your diet and I freaking love it. Like it's just so good. With a little bit of Italian seasoning, it's so good. And the last fruit we got are lemons. I'm actually following a recipe soon that requires a good amount of lemons and so I thought this was just a smart thing to have. Okay, so the next food group on our list of things that we got is dairy products. So I'm first going to show you that we got some cheese. This is the 
the Finlandia all natural deli sliced cheese? I'm not actually sure. We've actually never had this kind of cheese before, but they had it at Costco. More than anything else, I really liked that this had like four different kinds of cheese in one package. This kind of covered all my bases for all of the cheeses that we use most frequently. We got some more half and half. This is the Horizon Organic half and half, which is basically a mix of cream and milk. I know that half and half is not really like a common thing in a lot of countries, but it's basically half cream and half milk. <laughs> so in the UK, for example, it's somewhere between double cream and just regular milk. It's a little bit thicker than milk, but it's not as thick as double cream. But if you guys are not aware, me and Blake are big coffee drinkers. We have a lot of coffee in the house and um, I cannot drink it black. I wish I could drink it black. I can't drink it black. We uh, kind of put like a tablespoon or two in our coffee in the morning. So we were out, needed some more. I also got some more eggs. These are the Kirkland organic eggs. I don't know why, but for some reason I like brown eggs more than white eggs. I mean, obviously, honestly, if you crack them in a pan, I won't be able to tell a difference, but I like to buy brown ones more than I like to buy white ones. I don't know why. Let me know if anybody else has the same preference or the complete opposite preference as me, but I just think that's kind of one of those funny things. We are actually almost out of eggs and I actually use them quite a bit in pretty much everything that I cook, so I needed to get some more eggs. I also got some Greek yogurt. This is just the Kirkland Greek yogurt. I'm a really big fan of the Faye Greek yogurt, but I actually think I like this kind more. At our Costco, they sell them both and one time I was just kind of like, well, let's just try try the Kirkland version, and I kind of haven't turned back since. With non-fat Greek yogurt, I have found that it's really easy to get kind of like almost chalky tasting Greek yogurt. It, it has like the wrong texture, but something I really like about Faye and something I really like about the Kirkland Greek yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt, is that it's really creamy. It still has that creaminess that regular yogurt has. So if you're looking for a Greek yogurt that is a little bit more creamy, try this one. It's pretty good. We also needed to get some more butter. This is the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. I am obsessed with this butter. It's so good. In Ireland, cows graze on the green pastures of small family farms. This milk is churned to make Kerrygold butter. For whatever reason, this butter has such a strong, pure flavor to it. And I, I, I seriously, it's probably my favorite butter of all time. So if you're like a weird butter nut, Try this kind, it's really good. And last but not least, we got some Mexican style shredded cheese. It's a shredded blend of Monterey Jack, medium cheddar, queso quesadilla, and asadero cheese. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. So um, yeah, needed some more shredded cheese because we were out. Okay, so the next food group we are going to cover are meats. So the first meat we got from Costco is this <laughs> organic ground beef. It is 85% lean, 15% fat. And this is actually the beef that we typically get whenever we do some kind of ground meat, which we honestly don't do too frequently. If we're gonna have meat, we usually have fish or we'll have chicken, but we don't eat a ton of like beef or pork too often. I think one of the reasons I really like it is because even though it is 85, 15, but when you're cooking it, I feel like there's not a ton of fat that comes off. It still acts very lean, which is kind of convenient, but I really like that kind. So we got that from Costco. We also got some seasoned roast beef. Blake has actually been wanting more kind of like sandwiches in his lunches and things like that. And so I figured this would be kind of a good meat to have. I actually told him, okay, you, we can have like lunch meat in the house, but you can only pick out one because something that always seems to happen when we get lunch meat is that we'll have sandwiches for like two days and then we forget about it and then it goes bad. So I told him to get one thing and this is the one that he picked out. So um, we got some lunch meat to have for lunches. This is another thing that Blake picked out that I've actually never seen before. It is 100% grass-fed beef, uncured jalapeno cheddar bratwurst. And um, I think he said that he wanted to throw these on the grill and they actually look really good. No hormones, antibiotics, and no feedlot. No nitrites or nitrates added, not preserved. It seems like a really good kind of sausage and hopefully they're really really good. So I'm excited to try these and I'll let you guys know how they are. And then the last thing we got, which I actually should have included in the frozen,
frozen foods in the very beginning. We actually got some sausage patties. These are just pork sausage patties, like breakfast sausage. Um, Blake has actually been asking to have more sausage in the morning, or not just even the, in the morning, but just like to have around. He likes breakfast sausage. We picked these out. These ones actually came from Smith's. All right, so the last group of foods we got are kind of more like pantry foods that don't need to be refrigerated. Me and Blake eat a lot of like Asian foods and Mexican foods and everything like that. And uh, well, we go through a lot of soy sauce. This is actually the first time we bought soy sauce at Costco because I, I'm always like, Blake, we don't need that much soy sauce. Like that's a ton of soy sauce. We happened to be at Costco and it happened to be inexpensive and we were like, okay, let's just give it a go because we use it a ton in like different marinades and different sauces that I make for like Asian foods. And along with soy sauce, we also got garlic hoisin sauce, general sao sauce, and regular hoisin sauce. So the deal with this is that I mentioned I was going to be making general sao's chicken for the coming week. The recipes that I were looking at kind of called for hoisin sauce. We got some hoisin sauce, so we're good. And then Blake was like, well, is that enough sauce? Should we get regular general sauce sauce to go with it? And I said, I mean, it couldn't hurt to have just in case. So we got also some generals. <laughs> I think we're good on sauces for a while. At Smith's, I also got some red lentils and some green, wait, these are green, right? I think these are green. Why does it not say green lentils? I think these are green lentils. I've actually really been liking lentils lately. Most frequently I'll have them in soup. It's a really great way to get some like vegetarian protein in your diet. These things have so much protein. A quarter cup has 12 grams of protein. I just really, really like lentils to be honest. So we were out of lentils, needed to get some more lentils. At Costco, I also got some wild albacore tuna. This is from Wild Planet, which I actually have to do a little bit more research on them. Sustainably pole and line caught and they also catch smaller tuna, which tends to not have as much mercury in them. We actually recently tried out this brand and I actually quite liked it, but like I said, I, I need to do a little bit more research on it to see just how true their statements are. Last couple things. At Smith's, I picked up some more garbanzo beans. These are chickpeas. I like to have these around just because honestly, I really like the taste of them. They're also a really good source of fiber and also protein and um, they make a really good snack. We needed some spaghetti sauce. Um, I just find it so much easier to buy it from the can already. So that's just me being a little bit lazy. Blake picked this kind out, which is balsamic vinegar and caramelized onions from Bertoli. I picked out the roasted garlic kind from Rizzer. Classico res Reserva. Basically, when it comes down to picking out a tomato sauce, the one thing that I do every single time is I will just read the ingredients label and just make sure that I understand all of the ingredients that are in the can. So for example, this kind just has ground tomatoes, roasted garlic, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, and spices. And that's all that are in here. I try to just go for a spaghetti sauce that doesn't have like a ton of preservatives and a ton of like additives and everything like that. I like to make sure that my spaghetti sauce has just like actual food in it. From Costco, we picked up a big thing of minced garlic. Me and Blake go through garlic like crazy. We absolutely adore garlic. I find it so convenient to have the big jars of like the already minced kind because again, that's just me being a little bit lazy. So I <laughs> needed some more minced garlic. And last but not least, we got some bread. Costco sized bread is ridiculous. It's just split top wheat from Kirkland and um, it's pretty good. And that is actually all the things we got from the grocery stores today. Let me know in the comments down below if you like grocery hauls, if you don't like grocery hauls, or just tell me what your most frequently bought things at the grocery store are. I would love to know. If I had to bet, I think the thing that we get most frequently at the grocery store would probably be half and half. We have coffee every single morning and every single morning we have to have half and half in it. So that's probably the thing that we buy most frequently at the grocery store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!